Okay, guys, welcome back. So, uh, today we're talking about a bug that's present in Cyanogen Mod 13 um, that I I just got on Christmas Day. I don't know when you guys got this, but I pulled this down. It's one of the nightly bacon uh, releases somewhere around in there, and, and it just kind of fell apart at that point when I was doing these themes. So, I'm going to kind of show you what the bug is and how it works and then and then how to... Uh, how to get out of the condition that appears whenever uh, uh, whenever it starts. So, so essentially what it boils down to is, is when you look at these themes, you're going to see a whole bunch of themes. And of course, you're gonna, the themes you pull down of, are, are all uh, you know, CM12 themes because that was the OS that was on there previously. So you got a whole bunch of these, and they seem to work fine. Like, for instance, we'll choose this one. I don't know if this is... 12 or 13, but anyway, we'll choose to put the wallpaper on there, and it, you can see it works, and it's, it's fine, there's nothing wrong with it, and, uh, and it's going to work fine, until you come in here, and that's just an example, but see this right here, status bar, that's this thing, this. When you try and theme this, that's where it goes wrong. So I'm going to get one that I know is a Cyanogen Mod 12 theme uh, Cosmos right here. Anyway, I think yeah, it says 12x, sure, but I'm going to try it out, you know, try different things. See how they work. And if it doesn't work, you undo it. The problem is the undoing of it is actually much more difficult than you would you would think. Alright, so let's go in here. And choose themes again. Oops, not that one. I'm going to find this Cosmos. And you can apply this theme, it works good, until you click status bar. When you theme the status bar, That didn't work. The bug's already corrected. Cosmos, mate. Maybe that's not the right one. A few more themes. Huh. Let's try. Wait a minute. there. The system UI stopped working. So let's go back. And this error appears again here. Now at this point it's kind of in a bad situation. Some people have said if you click this two or three times it'll go away. One guy said if you click it like 20 or 30 times. I've clicked this 35 times. It does not go away. It never stops. You're in a loop here where you're not going to be able to use this phone anymore. So you're going to end up hard booting this. And what you want to do is you want to boot it while holding the volume down button here. So I'm going to do that real quick. You get a free screenshot too because that's set to screenshot. Come on. You can hit reboot right here.
Now the key is, is what, you're, what you're trying to do is get into recovery mode here. So I'm, I'll let go of the power button. I'm still holding in the, the volume down. I'm pushing the power button and holding the volume down. Okay, now I'm letting go of the power button. Holding down this volume down. Okay, so we're getting, we're getting to recover here. I'm using this team win recovery. I don't know what you're using. Hopefully you're using something like this because <clears throat> what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go in and uninstall that uh, theme that you had. So for team win, this is actually real easy. Go in here, do advanced, file manager, um, data, apps. Now you're going to have to remember the theme that you used. So I just happened to remember that the theme was Cosmos. If you didn't remember that, if you just selected some theme, you're going to end up going in here and just deleting random themes until you finally find it. That's how I had to do this the first time. It was kind of a nightmare, but but I happened to know it was Cosmos that did it. And right there. See, so if you look, okay, so you go into that directory and just hit select. So here's the directory, data, app. And then the reverse URL of the name of the theme, in this case, ComCosmos CM12.1. And you just delete this entire folder. Goodbye. Boom. Now, at this point, you can actually reboot back in the system. And the error will be gone.